Good morning. This is Fidesh Senior Trainer and International Master Sekhar Sao welcomes you on behalf of Sports Authority of Gujarat and Gujarat State Session for this Intermediate Training Session. I will continue with the topic of initiative. In fact, initiative means it is not attack or sometimes it is a short term initiative, a temporary initiative. Sometimes it is a permanent initiative. Kapablanka once said, Whenever there is an opportunity, take the initiative. Even if it is short term, it can become a permanent initiative. We take initiative to get a winning position or take the con control of the game in our hand. And after that, we keep on pressing the position, getting better and better and better, leading to a game. Sometimes the initiative can be, I mean, in, uh, done with a very quiet move also. So I will discuss a lot of positions and explain the things. First, let us see, for example, the initiative can be in the opening stage. Let us say e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. Knight Now, it's Guicopia, no? Two knights. So, in this game, black makes error in opening stage and lost very quickly. For example, in this game here, bad move. Now, one cannot afford to do Take especially as black. For example, after the move, he is hoping to take G, G into F6 and use the G5. Now, the simple threat is Queen F6 and entering. What else? You can't allow Knight F6, the only move. And now there is no answer because the Queen and Rook are tied down to F6. There is no no defense can come on ng6 check. Check. And now, knight in. Because rook is pinned and after queen into bait. This all looks so pretty. But actually, it is the weak opening play. For example, this was 1944. In 1950, David Bronston came up with the correct answer against Victor Corson. Now, this is okay going on. Everything is fine. Not this move. Now, Bronstein find the simple knight f5. Simple knight f5. Simple knight f5. Now, the, the main uh, dangerous piece is the white square bishop. And now, suppose knight into knight. Suppose you play knight into knight check, pawn into, and you maintain the pin. Then knight into bishop and c6. White is black is preparing queen b6. Then you cannot play bishop into. And now if you play queen d2, he he can he can just play king g2 also, king g7 also. There is no no progress. So black has two bishops and has better prospect. Bronstein went on to win that game. After the move, after this move, Bronstein, you can check from the data. I have already shown in one of my earlier lectures. So the correct move was knight f5. And after that, the white strategy is pretty. White is breaking the principles of opening, moving the same piece twice. And if you play here, supposing you play a3, suppose you play a3 trying to stop uh, that plan of black and so that he can save the bishop. Bishop b6. Bishop b6. You get nothing out. White has no more advantage. Okay. So I am just showing you that initiative can be an opening stage. Suppose somebody makes an error like this. King. 
let's say another now in this game it is simple you can play knight to c6 with a roughly equal position knight to c6 four knights okay black plays more ambitious bad move one must develop of course it is it will give a threat pawn takes knight takes and it is giving a threat but it is not wise you cannot neglect development and take the initiative with some two pieces so simply take take and castle and now you have to worry about the d5 knight hello Yeah. One minute. Now you have to worry about the night. And after knight into pawn into bishop into black has won a pawn. Now there are three drawbacks. Number one, black is under down. Number two, there is no minor piece guard near the castle. Black castle position is without a guard. The g5 square is not controlled. White has open line and a safer king, better center, and also. attacking suspect so here initiative now of course rook i cannot give the rook so rook here those things the position is very dangerous now a simple threat is queen h5 now black is feeling the heat there now there is no way he can stop so h6 this is also lost now queen h5 and the sacrifice on uh, h6 is coming we suppose to a5 makes no difference and finish after pawn into g5 knight g5 hardly any answer there is a mate knight check and if we takes queen g6 check Now pawn into queen g6. So the the move that uh, what is the d5? This is a weak move. What you should have done here? Simple moves. What you should do? Basic logical development. Develop. Now the game can continue. Four knights. You can you can play uh, bishop to b4. You can play here. Uh, anything means normal move. Bishop c5. Just develop. Okay, so instead of playing this ambitious move and then d5 backfires. For example, now let us say the player will play illogically. Let us say game can continue. Maybe here I can show you. Let's say e4 e6. Right, e6. Now d4 d5. Now let us say n d2 take take. Now This is not correct. The player must play n d seven. Idea knight f six. Player can play b d seven. Now this is unethical. And what I will do here? Suppose bishop. Now he plays this pattern. Now such kind of things, it uh, it will it, it is not putting any pressure on center. And the pieces are very funny. Let's say bishop. Let's say Bishop G. Now Castle is suicide. He gives a check. Now takes check. I think there is no answer. Now this will Bishop check. You can say Greek sack. Bishop check, Queen check, and mate. It is all because there is no pressure. This is leg last or play. One must play according to the well-trodden path. You put pressure on the center. Try to exchange. 
concept of the French Rubinstein variation is to exchange quickly a lot of pieces and try to equalize them. The main plan is to exchange, then he plays uh, uh, B6, BB7 and then try for C5. But if you play like this, something, this is no pressure. This is just terrible. You cannot play some F6 move. F6 runs to Queen H5 check. So it is bad. Let us say come back to lot of other games. Let's say Sabalo. Alexander Sabalo is good. Now Nim Nimjo is different. Okay, this is fully played. Right. Bad move. Logically, white has a good position. White has many good moves. He can play S3, stopping the BG4 move. He can play Bishop E2 and Castle. Development is priority. Meaningless move. Suppose somebody does something stupid, then you should not do try to punish. You calmly develop and castle and then take the receipt. A4, I cannot show you that black is winning now. It is not so. Just play calmly develop. So, it's a small development. That's all. A4. Now, pin. It is a normal. Black is completing development. Naturally, good move. Now, another bad move. He has made two minutes. Of course, he is planning to play A6, but white black stops that. Naturally, now black is better. Black will treat the game like a King's Indian defense. And eventually, the knight f6 will move, pawn f5 will come, and then an attack. Normally, in King's Indian, against the black's kingside attack, white has queenside initiative. Here, no, I don't see any such thing. The c4 pawn, the pawn on c2 is not moving. So, he cannot put pressure. No? Maintains. Excellently played. The other move is 98, but he is challenging because black's initiative on king's side must come much faster. So, he ignores. Okay, we had seen such a uh, maneuver in the Spassky Fischer match 1972, but he had, did not give a pawn. In Benoni, he had given knight h5, allowing a fraction. But here he is offering a pawn. For a very quick initiative. The threat, there is an immediate threat, a four. So, Bishop G5. Now, you can see five of the black pieces are ready for the king's side. Whereas, the knight on a4 doing nothing. And his queen on h5, if there is no attack, what the queen is doing there? Too slow now. There is, there is nothing he can do. Now, rook g7 is threatened. He is threatened in rook g7 and then uh, bishop g4 will come. You cannot take that uh, rook bishop. So he is trying to bring some equity too late. Bishop g4 is a nasty threat. Lost. The position is hopeless. The rook will join now. Now rook f8 is coming with a tremendous pressure. First of all, the c4 pawn and the knight. This is lost position. Double bishop. Then two rooks are ready. It is all because the black initiative became so strong. White made some stupid a4, a5 in the opening. Before, want to exchange queen? No. You are free to take b7, c7. Now, this is a mating attack. After the move, queen, and now g2 cannot be protected. Check. Check. 
tag and finish. So it is all you have to see. Somebody makes such moves like e4 a6. I cannot so many, but I will take strength center develop, and that automatically the initiative will come to me. Let's look at this position. Anand versus Anand. Very instructive. This is Anand, one of the means. Uh, Best players in the world. When you talk about initiative, what is initiative? A player should have a feeling to take action when he spots a weakness. Now there is what is the weak point in that game? Crampness, totally cramps. The knight has no future there. And now, for example, white can play rook one to b six and go for the pawn. Then black is in a helpless position. But this will give some counterplay. Means a queen a one check, the bishop is in danger. So before taking initiative, you have to set right your weak points. You have to take some prophylactic measures, precautionary measures. So simple move, king g two, very quiet and very effective, very impressive. Now there is no check available. The s three is guarded. And black is virtually is no good move. Now the the knight has no future because knight is tied down. The bishop has no future. He cannot. He is so much cramped and passive. So he thought that knight. What else? Tempo. How do we punish such a position? The position is bad, but how to punish that? I give you time. I give you two minutes time. Player must spot the vulnerable points, the weaknesses in opponent's camp, and the initiative should be taken in that direction. For example, now if you want to attack, it is not easy to attack the black king. There are two guards, and not so easy. White has not too many pieces on that side. So the vulnerable vulnerable point is the queen. Strange, vulnerable point is the queen. The queen is the problem. So a simple bishop d1. Would you believe that he resigned? Would you believe that black resigned here with so many pieces on the board? No move. Now, for example, knight f6, rook e7, the queen is trapped. For example, queen to e5, f4, f4 and f5, crossing. And for example, now you play no f5, then knight f4, winning a piece. F5 is not possible. Knight f6 is not possible. If you play knight f6, it is bad. And queen e5 is not possible. And there is no good rook move. If rook a8, knight c7, four. Or rook, any rook e8, knight uh, c7, or rook e8, knight knight four, rook c8, bishop g4. Means it is just killing. Unbelievable! With so many pieces on the board, black resigned, helpless. So this is suppose you don't spot bishop to d1, then the game will go. On. This will this will go. On. Like black will prepare bishop to h7. And then he will try to play f5. Suppose not f5 immediately because g7, but he can prepare bishop to h7, queen to g6. The game will go on. But bishop d1, full stop. There is no time for bishop h7. Lost. Lost. 
so this is what happens in white king g2 and spot the weakness let's say another question now this is anand versus tapa the player should recognize his advantage now what is the advantage of white number 1 the rook can a1 is in the open file then you may ask so what what is what the rook is doing in open file now it will be effective when you calculate some variations for example he makes use of the open line which is a fantastic move knight to g and giving a threat now giving a threat so if you play h6 then queen tempo comes if you play h6 a tempo queen f3 will come when knight into pawn then queen to d5 check will kill and bishop cannot go to e6 so now if you play h6 queen f3 will kill that means you have to play knight e7 player must see defense now if you play h6 this is finish we cannot weaken the king this is just bad now rook b8 will come but then queen check b3 rook into rook rook into queen is a mate and rook is doubly attack so oh, this variation loses so you cannot play h6 so sudden death so here you play knight to e7 okay Apollo is a very strong grandmaster. Twenty-seven, fifty. He was also world champion. So he will not miss this variation. So he played the prophylactic knight to his. Anyway, White took the initiative. Now Queen F three is meaningless. He will have defense. So unfortunately, the bishop has no good square. He has to go only move. Tempo and D five. normally if, if a piece is posted central square or a square near the center it is dangerous now the simple threat of queen d4 is crossing so he played here bishop f7 idea if you play queen d4 i will take the knight but there is no time to take bishop and b6 deadly A position of color complex. Black will die a dog's death in the dark squares. Dark square. Check. Finish. Check. And now rook pin. The threat is simply busy by even rook into his. Rook into. Sufficient. The dark the pawn on d5. Is controlling the c6 e6, not allowing the king to run. So check. He resigns. Now it is it is the whole rook up. He cannot do anything. For example, okay, I can say that he can come this way. Come. Then maybe check and come here. again. Check. Come here. This up. Check. Now you cannot go here. So you come here. Again check, and if you come here, then finishing the game. Queen check is there. I mean now queen check and pawn into just exchange down with the mating attack. So the whole point is about grabbing initiative. Now black found the correct defense after the move just a minute. Now, knight g5. So I showed you h6 is lost immediately. Black found the correct move, but then you don't play the mechanical queen f3. Same direction, g4, crossing. Next, all about initiative. Jaron Piquet and Timon. They are from same country, Netherlands, and. It is a Netherland tournament somewhere 1975, 95. The simple threat is now Rook G3. 
After Rook G3, the all pieces of white gunning against the black. White has attacked. So a player should uh, not mix up initiative in the attack. Now, white king, black king is weak. So the, the action should be taken in that direction. So Ng4 and Rook G3. The weakness is black king. What is he going to do? The simple threat. Now he is bringing rook to g3, queen d4, and bishop b2. This is overwhelmed. So he played h5. Check. I told you, never miss a check. It can be made. The player should master the art of captures and checks. Every available check on each diagram by you and by your opponent. You cannot decline that. So, check. You cannot go to some uh, king h8 or king h7. Only king h7, then queen d4, and this is finished. Queen h8 is coming. So, king h7 ruled out. So, king run to f7. But then, check. 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 No, no, threat. We cannot defend that. Now queen e7 runs to f3. So, bishop h7. Check. Check. You cannot go to b6. Then bishop d4 check. Sorry, e3 check. You cannot go. So king b4. Now a quiet move. The simple threat is queen c3 check. So you stop that, but then check and the pc. Oh, and you will get mated also. King a4, king a5, then bishop check, or king into pawn. This little need to mate. You don't need to worry about it. So the whole point is grabbing the initiative. Believe me, you can also do that. Provided you keep working and analyzing, the board side will come. So, first we give by Yantiman. Now let us say Bent Larson Krishna. I think I have shown this in one of the uh, sessions. Now, white has a strong position. What is the strength of white? The black king is weak because there are a lot of dark squares are weak and uh, these uh, pieces are not coordinated. But black can boast of his knight on e4. So finish him off. Finish the knight. Then he has nothing. After rook into e4, now the position, the f7 weak. The rook is ready on d line. And the queen is watching e8 square anytime. Of course, the player must calculate. You cannot just play on instinct. Now, this is based on pure calculation. And Larson was a great player. The great den won maybe around 40-50 international events. Maybe at least 40 international events. It was world number two for a long time. Now, look. let us look at the initiative. Now, look. So f7 is cracking only. If you play rook to c7, the rook check and then queen will penetrate. If you play rook c rook c7, then he will play. Suppose you play rook c7, rook check is coming. And queen f6 is not working. Now I take the file. There is nothing. Rook into f7. The new threat is rook into f7. The threat is rook d8 check. Only move here is rook. Hoping for an end game. Now queen. Only move. Check. Only move. Now queen. See? The player. How, much, how far Larson has seen. Now this is finished. Now for example. If you play f5. The interesting move. That finish is coming with b5. He has to take. He cannot move. You have to take. Now, the threat is king d2 and queen h1 and mate. 
Now the plan is king g2 and uh, queen, a, queen h1 and queen a8. He cannot do anything about it. He cannot do anything about it. Now, for example, now, now for example, if you place h6, which is a very normal move to stop the initiate, but then pawn into, and this is very, you cannot take pawn into pawn, queen g4 is finished. Pawn into pawn, queen g4 is finished. And after f6, this is b5 again. Now, knight. What else? You cannot take rook into knight, and there is no time. Now, if rook into b5, queen d6, finish. After the move, check, rook when attacked and it will look queen d4 is coming. So, very well calculated by Larson. Now, in this position, h5. Rook check. What a move. The queen will come and enter. Check. 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 Now king g7 is a mate in 2. If the king g7, queen f6 and knight check and mate. So comes. Check. Check. It is mate. You come up mate, go down mate. If you come up mate in 1, if you go down mate in 2. Okay. This all this thing, I am sure that it was not this diagram uh, Larson has seen. So he is the initiative. After rook into e4, e4, the initiative that comes. I am going to see the chart. What is what is the wrong here? Why am I going to see the chart? What is going on? I don't know. Something went wrong. I am unable to see the chart. All right. But the position is coming. I have to set the set the my. Okay. All right. Now another another example. Alex is zero. You know, Lubojovic zero. You know, there are uh, Volotokin, Uprichik. Leonard Stein, Boris Pasquet, Tal, masters of initiate. Izzy Anand. And don't forget about Fischer. So here, Bishop F4. If he will play Bishop into Rook, the dark squares, the initiative is too, too strong. Bishop into, Bishop into E5, Queen moves, and then Queen G4 or something is crushing. But then, threat, non stop threats. Now, threat, the threat is looking to threat. Now, threat, threat, threat. You cannot take the rook. Pawn into rook d1 or queen into bishop, rook d1 is cursed. Now, rook d1. Are being exchanged down all, all all four white pieces now nc7 thread now he cannot no square he can control cannot castle he played queen attack running away from good squares now what white is looking is a queen coming to a fate in the with the help of bishop and what you should see the weak point is the king and the bishop on d6, the f8 square. But you cannot come directly. Rook f6 can come. Rook f6 can come. So, here, rook attack. Now, how to handle? Black is ready to concede some material to survive. The point is, 
before coming to into s3 he wants to ensure the control of h6 square now the simple thread is going there not the root okay queen into c2 then after queen into c2 attacking the root he will play queen f3 and now queen f5 also loses this this one piece of you don't have to mate this win is important so queen c2 not working so he played rook takes mate threat now rook into knight only move but then queen h5 and then queen h7 queen h5 you have to play g6 only move and then queen h7 will wind up so the whole point is it is the feel for initiate Why the comments are not coming? It is very strange. Maybe I uh, shut down and again restart. Maybe I shut down and again restart. What is wrong here? Very strange, eh? Something went wrong. The setting. All right. So a position, Leko Kamasi. You can see now there are rooks off the board. Still, the white position is contrasting. Black has lot of weakness. The H6 square. The bishop D2 is looking very strongly. There is no guard. On that six square, big square, the queen is watching that seven square. How to take this? Okay, finally it has come. Hello, creative mind. Good afternoon. Now, how white should take the initiative? It is about a player's imagination. You should see the weaknesses and. You must uh, channelize your pieces in right direction to execute advantage. Grab the initiative. So Peter Leko, with a great imagination, grabbed the initiative here. In tall style, in the style of Mikhail Tal. One of the best examples of about initiative. Find out about it. Check it out. Can somebody tell me how black can grab the initiative now? Or take the initiative now? How to take the initiative? Now, okay, there comes knight c4. The point is, imagine that white imagines the knight is not in the board. Then bishop at six will come, and he is forced to take king into. Otherwise, the mate is coming after queen at seven. And after bishop h6, king h6, queen f7, knight g8 is made. That means the knight should move, not knight f5 check, knight c4. Jatka. Knight f5, no. Now, 
नाइट सी फोर डेडली थ्रेट ऑफ बिशप एच सिक्स यू हैव टू डू समथिंग अबाउट बिशप एच सिक्स नाउ आई एम थ्रेटनिंग टू इवन टेक द बिशप इवन आई एम थ्रेटनिंग नाइट एफ आई ऑल्सो द डायरेक्ट थ्रेट ऑफ बिशप एच सिक्स थ्रेट फॉरवर्ड so the only means. you cannot do anything for example you pawn into knight check i already said the variance check and now in g8 bet so helpless about you come up then king g3 no not king g3 not king g3 you come up then queen into knight is winning so you can't take you cannot take that knight and if you play bishop d8 to eliminate an attack knight knight f5 so i am now my knight is not no more in danger i can continue normally queen attack otherwise the knight will enter if you don't take knight f5 to c6 so only move the same way so you cannot take bd8 you cannot take the knight and if you take bishop into g4 that is also bad now the you cannot take e7 knight Queen e7 is losing to knight b6. The only move, but then it's the same thing. So the only move you have to stop the bishop b6 check. The only move, but then knight f5. This is very common. You have to, you you cannot take that. Then the threat is the g5. It is for then queen d7. It's just uh, n6. I cannot think of playing bishop only, and now the initiative is very powerful. If you take bishop check is coming, you cannot play f6 pawn into pawn is finished. Deadly. I go. <laughs> This is too much. Too much. So the whole point is, okay, it looks so easy after you see and see four, but during the game. A player will only think of knight f5. Do something king side. The right execution against the weakness. Hello, Hars. Next. Now I will take you to some games. I will take you to some games. Boleslavski was a very fine grandmaster. He was good in end game. He was very good in opening play strategy. Yes. Standard. Yes. 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 Now, G4 is called Keras attack, and it has stood the test of time. Till today, G4 is considered one of the best against Keras. Second best, I would say, is stall attack. You play f4, b3, queen f3, long castle. Pawn f4, b3, queen f3, long castle, or queen f3, b3, long castle. So he goes for b2. Quite move. Uh, there is also you can play king h1. That is also plus. Okay, the b3 frees the queen. One of the idea. Queen e1, queen g3, preparing for e5 and against the king side. So okay, both. Queen e1. I think not the best way. Black is trying to solve the problem, but inviting the bishop to center for no reason. Not a good move. So it appears black has solved all the problem. Because after pawn into pawn into bishop has to move, then bishop c5 and black is fantastic. After pawn takes pawn takes bishop to e3, then bishop c5, bishop into bishop, then queen into bishop takes king moves. Black looks better, but there is one variation black is missing. That he is not obliged to move the bishop. The point is pawn into pawn into queen. This is the point. So now the pawn is the double attack only answer. 
tell you if you play now bishop to if you play right now bishop d6 i will i will play bishop e3 and bishop c5 is not a threat anymore not a threat anymore i can even give bishop check so he comes takes takes now there is a problem that g7 pawn is attacked and he cannot cast a rook f6 is coming so that queen g3 move came with a tempo to a key square black cannot cast that means you you have to protect the pawn rook g8 is not coming rook f6 the only move is king only move. now the black king position is compromised so what is the weakness in black camp the king black king is a weakness then the rook on h8 is unable to come so there is no coordination between the pieces the king is weak the center is weak and the player is weak so how to capitalize how you take initiate i would say a player like morozovic or zero they will give rook into no we don't have to that is possible but a simple move a simple move knight d5 the point is now after knight into knight queen into e5 it's a strong position i will get back my piece with a better game and queen into suite is ruled out already there is big attack so he plays knight into pawn knight into knight is not good queen into c2 is not good knight into queen into there is no time for knight f2 because after rook into f2 there is a mate into so the only move. now the queen is obliged to control i mean keep a watch on e7 so black continues down up good move now unfortunately he cannot take queen c2 still even though the back rank is cleared there is a small or mate now queen into c2 mate in 3 or 4 one takes there is a check small or mate check only move check only move check only move check only move check mate okay this is like fisher brian game so you cannot take queen c2 but where the queen is going you are obliged to watch d6 square so the only move but then knight into knight and then rook into it is all over it is all over the, now rook into e6 threat there is a direct threat rook into e6 only move now queen threat only move threat only move. now mid threat back rank <laughs> is the first threat black is giving in the entire game bishop back rank is covered with a threat resign i think you should resign now i played this but then how many how many pieces you will give there is a check queen e1 is there so the whole point is that the crushing move you cannot do like this the king in center open game especially in sicilian and e4 e5 open games one cannot do such kind of that that take minus e5 minus with his big initiative yeah rook f6 was possible first that's a, that was possible the moral is it is good move but you see when you are winning safely player need to need not for example at this point look at 6 is possible after this yes i do agree i told a player like zero and morozovi will not resist the temptation rook into f6 and nd5 cross but why when you are winning safely i would advise all the young players when you find a safe win don't take the unnecessary risk because here after nd5 only white can play. and rook f6 you have to calculate go oh, that is still win mother rook will join and queen h4 it is still no need to calculate that is winning rook f6 is win i do agree so let's see another nice game i hope you enjoyed this game so classical system 
be to not the best way the modern theory rejects this because statistics is very much in favor of black 65% for black 35% for white leaving the draws the within the 65% black wins so e5 that is e5 is more active so not good okay this is not bad but more aggressive that's all bad vivek in 1948 because they did not know of course the position is still playable for black but this is a bad he is giving a threat the king in the center under developed it is an opening error illogical now bishop into c4 will not yield any advantage the bishop is precious so he saves the bishop goes back threat e5 threat preparing to play next bb2 your knight has to be encored because b4 the e4 point is in trouble the safe come out white has consolidated and has got a clear advantage now black castle in queen side is very risky because b5 there is a ready made target always not a good idea to castle queen side and e5 break will come so he castle he plays knight c5 knight a4 is anti position knight to knight with a clear advantage so he comes knight finally taking advantage uh, the pressure on b7 so he gets e5 After pawn into pawn into knight e5 wins a piece b7 to b7. So now you cannot take e5 pawn, and you cannot take uh, bishop f3 also. That loses material. Bishop bishop f3 pawn into f6. Only move. now the white black pieces are pushed. So how to take your initiative further? White has taken the initiative with e5. at this point the he started he took the initiative trap after take take how to press it fast i want to share my game can i analyze my yes kartik kesri but in this class i cannot you know i'm because there will be many requests for analyzing the games to analyze a game correctly it will take about a half an hour so you cannot if you ask me a diagram from a master game i can discuss so it will be difficult for me because i am in a general class okay now how to take the initiative you can ask me a question in a french defense or a particular game move number i can discuss so how to deal with this question how to take initiative i give you time think for 2 minutes the position is overwhelming can anybody suggest how to cross this position now he played queen g3 this direct threat still knight e5 is unplayable and bishop into f3 queen f3 with the threat on the rook and the side so he comes bishop g g6 is bad g6 is weakening further now black is on defense when a player is defending should not create more weaknesses that would turn out bad After g6, White will just play simple rook a e1 with a permanent advantage and crossing. After g6, you don't have to do anything great. Simple rook a e1 is a smashing position. He played 
bishop f8 okay now the point is he is hoping for some counter action good move now black has lot more problem want to give him ugly pawn structure then weakening the f6 square also you cannot castle bishop f6 and rook f7 will wind up the only move is g6 now knight is coming to f5 so eliminate the knight okay white still has sufficient number of pieces for the activity next how to continue how do we continue further what is happening wo aage piche kya ho raha So, not knight e4. Rook into f7. No, no, queen f3 first. First queen f3. Rook up tempo, and now knight tempo. Now rook. I got diverted. So, take two tempos. Tempo. Knight comes with a tempo and rook. In. The point is king into rook. Not playable. After king into rook, he can have simple rook f1 check, and uh, or queen into e6 check, and then knight d6. After rook into king into rook, he will have queen check. Now king cannot go, and king here rook f1 check, then knight check. Here rook check is crossed. and king cannot go and lost so you cannot accept that only move but then rook in check check this four mate now you come up also mate no escape the whole point is that where the mistake is going on i will tell you this all these things is known now for example b2 okay this is not a problem you could have more activity if i all right now this is also okay okay not nothing wrong this is the mistake you can play b7 castle rook e8 It's a reasonable game. B D seven. It's a reasonable game, but mistake. So this kind of moves should be avoided. Okay, active lines. When is open? Is very active. I advise players to play this also. B six main key diagram. Now N D two is a good line, the main line N D two Taras. C three is Lasker. Now Queen E three, Queen E two Karas. This is not danger dangerous now. I would advise you can play C three is a regular good line and more aggressive is Taras N D two here, but Queen E two. Now Black has lot of good moves. He can play L C five and eliminate the bishop. he can prepare here uh, bishop e7 and try to castle that is also good bishop e7 rook d1 queen can move on. 
That is also good. Night if I can come. But when I played, stupid Muji fan. It looks okay. It looks okay because pawn g4 is coming with a tempo. Now g5. Rubbish. You cannot do this with king in the center in open game. For example, now if you play s3, he will play s5. Now g4 is a threat. Now you nd2, he will still play g4. On knight into, he will play pawn into knight. So, g4 looks really attractive. But it is illogical, irrational and irresponsible. Black cannot and should not play such a way. He must be punished. How do we punish this? How do we punish this? Naturally, we open the game. For example, there comes the deadly sin. This is the reputation. For example, if you take a passive approach, this is bad. Why will come? Now nd2, d4 will come. d4 will come. This is the reputation. Now, if you play pawn into pawn, then queen e4, then he has to forget about the initiative. The g5 will first. Now, if you play b into c4, the game opens up. There is no time. Threat has come. No time for g4. And queen d7, knight d4 is coming. Because bishop to d7 is a check. The only move, bishop d7. But then, another punch. A deadly punch. Open the diagonal for queen. The queen is now getting ready to go to h5 with a check. You have to take. There is no choice. Bishop into and the knight, Russian knight enters on e5. <laughs> this is bad. The severe punishment. Now bishop is at you can give material and after the move check. Cannot go to d8 unfortunately. For big for only move. Check. The only move. Check. The only move. Check. Cannot go to d8. Check. Check. I cannot do WhatsApp and I will check. See, it is not possible. I will see the WhatsApp and then make the moves. No. If I get in PGN format, maybe sometimes I can look. It is not possible to see the game in WhatsApp. How much time it will take? You can think. I download it. Then I will make the moves and save it. I can't do that. You have to send PGN format. If there is some time, sometime, then I am taking some sessions, some question I have. And if it is a good game, I will analyze it. Lost. Hopeless question. So, the severe punishment for playing the irrational G fan. Okay. Okay, fine. The classical main line, Nimzovich. Right. Black has a reasonable position because capturing the pawn is not the best way. Capturing the pawn is not the best, but it is one of the lines. Okay, everything going on normal course. Not the correct. The theory suggests here B5. The theory suggests B5. And if you play here, then knight to B6. And knight c4 is coming. Now knight c4 and further suppose you play moves like knight c4 and f5 also. Because e6 is well protected. Now black can play knight c4 then f5. 
there is no attack black and castle safely this is the right right way to play but okay this was 1948 so theory was not so much exploded so here he played queen reasonably that stopping a fire etc now it is queen c7 is a rest now queen c7 is a rest of time and rook b8 is doing nothing finally he gets that but it is now initiative has passed to white okay how to continue further simple move castle now not ready to give the bishop now he is attacking the b4 point we are at a cross road we can play rook rook b1 and try to defend or ignore the pawn and take the initiative against white king black king You see, black two bishops, two knights, queen, and rook is ready. Except the a1 rook, all the pieces are ready for activity on the king side. The knight g4, knight g5, rook f3, they are getting ready. Already white bishop is fantastic, and the e5 square, e5 pawn robs any defensive pieces of black from that square. So the position is overwhelming on king side. it is a we are at a cross road we are at a cross road that uh, here we are to take a decision in it yeah how to finish the game white ignores the pawn on b4 goes for the takes initiative on the king side knight g4 the point of white is after you play pawn into take take the bishop will you divert it from g5 control after you play pawn into pawn into and you take knight into i can divert the bishop the greek sack can come you leave the f6 square and g5 square uncontrolled so this is the point black white takes initiative ignore the pawn you cannot allow you cannot allow you cannot afford to take the pawn a bishop sack knight check queen rook everything so now black is trying to give a threat on the b4 pawn still white ignores knight dumping a professional move a professional move if you take pawn into pawn into f6 crossing idea pawn into e7 you cannot take that and all you need is a queen entering g4 or h5 so Cannot afford to take that king move. Now yet another move. <laughs> look at look at look at the diagram. Look at the di picture skew diagram. Two bishop and look look at the knight. You have a choice. Which our knight would take death? Pawn into g5 is quick death, and pawn into f6 queen is safe. Also is a quick death. What a, what a move. Now he plays pawn into pawn into and bishop into pawn. Better to resign instead of playing this is better to resign. Now bishop into now it takes control. Simple. The rook is coming, queen is coming with a sack. So he returns. Knight into d3 is also hopeless. Knight into d3, queen d3, g6, rook h. Finish. That is finish. Only move. how should we continue that game how to how white should continue the attack take the initiative further
can somebody suggest how white should finish the game now? Many times we take the initiative, we play correctly, but we, there is a lack of final touch. How to finish the game? Try to play. The point is, now if you play pawn into e5, he can capture queen into the attack will go pawn into e5 is not correct because queen e5 rook attack queen exchange then white will lose the attacking threats now over so the correct move is bishop into c4 correct move bishop into c4 now, now the, if you take queen into bishop queen e5 is crossing to take queen into bishop, queen e5 is just crossing. And a pawn into c4, if you queen c4 loses to queen e5, any pawn into c4, pawn into e5 is crossing. So it takes knight into it, but then rook e5. Only move. Better resign, only move. Because king, king g7, knight to x5, check and make a check. Lost. When a player knows, they take these tricks. For example, you check, you play casually, then <laughs> this is mate. <laughs> finish, finish. So it is, it is a beautiful game. The whole point is the critical moment was when he attacked a pawn. When he attacked here, like this, take, take. This is the critical moment. Of course, uh, it is not difficult, but it is only the mindset that you have to judge that our, your pieces are sufficiently. Because who would you imagine after 3 4 moves, who would imagine this diagram is coming? What a diagram! <laughs> All right, next. Till today, this is the best. Rubinstein variation against the Taras defense is the best. Okay, there are two lines here. Knight c3 castle, bg5 is the main line. Now, knight c3 can come, black castles, and bg5 is the main line. But this is an independent, this is positional and not bad. It is not aggressive. More correct is nowadays nc3 castle, bg5. BG then, Force to play pawn into d4. Here, this line. That's all. Bishop g5. Now, this is four. This is bad. After knight e5 plus minus. This is called a slatter, slatter variation. Now, it is bad because of knight e5. So, here, the correct move is pawn takes pawn. And white stands better. Rubinstein. Plus equal. In all variations. But the more positional line here he played, not so aggressive. This is also not true. Okay. Too much time. The drawback is the idea is correct that the focus point is square in front of the weak point. The focus point, the idea is correct, but you can't afford to lose so many moves in opening. So this gives equality. Now, three moves he has made. To bring that knight block it. I think black should uh, play rook 8 bg4 with the easy equal. Now, correct move. Now, simple bg4. With the idea to capture on the d4 and then he gets easy counter. -pick. Now, bg4, that means you have to play e3. So, you can't get all this. So, this is bg4 is the right. This is a bad. After the move bg4, I don't see, I don't see any problem for that. And if you play BE3 and X, uh, a typical exchange sack can come. BE3, hit, BB2 is not good. You take knight into bishop into E2 problem. That means you have to play E3. You can't do that. But instead of playing BG4, 
the standard and logical he played right hand bad move now nah, sir there is no impact it is just a general move it is just a general move right on center black has played just following rules just bring the pieces to center normally when you have iqp you have to open up the game so it is difficult now white takes the initiative now the plan is fantastic the way white exploited it is really strange now <laughs> look queen queen is coming in front of the bishop too much. this is too much of course okay he has an idea to exchange queen but what about d5 pawn he has an idea this is too much <laughs> so rook now the threat is coming and c6 is a threat so rook here rook into rook so now the position is bad so once again black white plays very easy good moves i cannot play the knight discover bishop is hanging a simple move now the point is now bishop uh, here you cannot play um, what is the knight to queen h5 queen h5 is not possible and after taking tempo comes back rank you don't have time for you don't have time for uh, uh, rook c7 then knight b5 queen into knight into queen c8 mate so must lead no to guard then tempo now the threat comes so yeah open file now improve the pieces now that now the file is in control the queen and rook watching the c8 square so improve the piece position back very beautiful handle by boleslav pin the, the idea now knight f5 and bishop f6 will cross knight f5 queen d7 bishop f6 queen c8 knight check will win and now nf5 is too much so it comes to stop knight f5 idea queen c1 and take the file permanent it's over i think i think it is over now i think power get over the charge okay okay now he plays knight f4 and black continued further back moves black was hoping that knight d6 will come and then he will try to generate some activity that's why it's four but no time now rook into is a threat rook into d8 is a threat rook into back rank mate queen again back rank and cannot defend because queen queen to d7 or e6 run to rook into rook check and bishop e3 check finishes he will drop the queen now queen d7 rook into rook check b3 check wins the queen so only move but then bishop wins over whole rook down and mating mate also finishes so the the whole point, where is the mistake The mistake is in the opening stage, and I would say it will feel like laughing when you say queen e5. Normally, normally let us say queen is on e5, bishop will come to b2. The bishop attacking queen is I have seen, or rook attacking queen. Now the queen is attacking. This is too much. Okay, but the wonderful move is after the move take take. This is the fantastic. Great. Understanding of Boleslavsky of Middle East. Not easy. It is not easy to find this move unless you really have just the position correct. Because the f5 square becomes weak. 
and it comes with a tempo topping queen h5 now plus minus you have to come back and threat beautifully played beautifully played next okay now the scan in here Okay, queen b6, k h1 is done. Nothing to worry. So, n c6, b3, b d7. The idea, black wants to play knight into knight and bishop to uh, c6, pre pressure on the center. Okay, everything is very normal. Queen e1. Okay, this is all standard moves. Getting ready now. G5 and E5 point. The idea is to now the pressure on T6. Root D3 is also coming. E5. White has taken the initiative here. White grabbed the initiative. Taking the pawn is bad. If you take the pawn, pawn into bishop into is also strong, pawn into is also strong, and n d7 is bad now because pawn into d6 will win. Correct. Now f5. You cannot take pawn into. Pawn into e5 is bad, pawn into f5 is bad. Please, it's up into rook attack. And rook, you may move the rook or push the pawn, f6 is coming. F6. Even f6, but he comes with a stronger threat. The e6 point attack. You cannot play pawn into pawn, then d5 pawn will fall, queen into four. The space. And white two rooks, queen, bishop, everything is crossing. Crossing push. Only move. You cannot afford to play pawn into pawn. Then a mate is on the way. Only move. Okay, so reduce some pieces, but the attack is continuing anyway. If you play g6 now, queen h6 and rook h4. And if you h6, rook into. If you play h6, rook into and queen h6. Mate is anywhere on the way. Pawn into pawn is there. This is simple. Easiest to not taking any chance. You must lose a piece now to save mate. So, in fact, we have to see, analyze what went wrong with black poison. The standard move, knight into knight, bishop here is a standard move. Okay, this is this is also okay. I think it is important to castle first and play rook. Because after castle, e5 is not great. I will take and you have to take with the not with the pawn. Now castle is okay. Okay. Now e5 is not great. I will take and you have to you cannot take it. You have to take with the bishop, but this is not dangerous. This is not dangerous because here you, I can have queen check and vacate queen check, push the king, rook d8. I think it is game is roughly equal. So e5 is not coming. So you should simply castle, simply castle. Okay, I will go to the next game. Okay.
Okay, the standard variation. Why it is better? These are all not played. Nowadays, nobody comes and gives a bishop so easily. Why it is better? Preparing for e4 play. Not the right decision. Already it is a bad position. Perfectly playing. Boloslavski had a very good understanding of opening positions. And he was also good with initiative and attack. Very good understanding of middle game. And he had written some books also on opening like Sicilian. The point is, the exchange of queens will not solve Black's problem. There is a threat. This I do. You have to play. If b6 is bad, a6 you have to play. Challenge in the fight. Even, even lot of exchanges. Now this will not solve. For example, the game now appears to draw. It is a wrong consumption. The point is after e4, the black knights are restricted very much and white king is joining very quickly in the game. The small initiative in end game becomes too much. For example, now the game continues, king. You don't have to give a check. The check is also a good move, but simply king. Now a check. Suddenly the king is pushed back. d7 is under control and uh, knight d6 will lose a piece and d6 will lose a piece. Only move. Now king. White is playing very actively. Knight is active. Bishop is active. King is active. So virtually, for practical purpose, white is playing like extra piece. Then the next job will be a four, a four, fixing the b seven pawn. And any weakness on the queen side will be proving more fatal. So excellent. So he tries to push the knight from e5. The domination is complete. This kind of initiative, players may think they will be able to hold. I don't think so. The position is passive and there are various plans. The idea is to Control the C's before weakness, making the other piece free. Only move. F6. Free. Looks like black has equalized. Not really. You can take knight into bishop. That is also not solving. After pawn into. Look at the plight of C8 knight. Look at the plight of C8 knight. One of the idea h5 h6. That means when I play h5, you have to play h6. Now g7 weakness. And the pawn ending is lost. Because white has to decisive tempi. Tempi means reserve pawn moves. Reserve moves in the hand. After knight on to knight, which is forced, otherwise you lose material. Only move pawn into the tempi. The king d5 is coming. One cool g3. King moves. Now enter. Now king here. King to d7. Use the second tempi. G4. You have to now allow the c6 break or the king penetration. Now, if you play pawn king here, the c6 break is overwhelming. Overwhelming. This is finished. And if you play other side, then king entry is finished. King entry is finished. This is too, too slow. King, king, king. And now b5, take king into. You don't have to capture the pawn. b5. Whichever way black captures, three moves white queens. Black needs five moves. You have to capture the g5 pawn either way. 
black queens in three moves, two moves before white queen, black and queen. Very beautifully played. The point, the lesson from the game is you should not try to keep on exchanging, hoping for a draw. Well, Ligorik was a fantastic, talented, one of the best positional masters from the past. Very good understanding, very good author, journalist. But he was young and he was growing up. So, excellent game by Bodhravski. Bodhravski played very excellent. Another game by Bondrovsky. Bondrovsky was coach of Spassky. Spassky's initial coach was Alexander Tolus, who was a, one of the greatest attacking players of the past. And under his uh, coaching and training, Spassky grew up, became a very strong attacking player. But Tolus was not so good in modern theory. Whereas Bondrovsky was very much conversant with the modern theory. So, Spassky joined Bodhravski and his game, game became more stronger with theory and data. Bodhravski is white, semi slav. Not the best way. The main problem in such positions is the C8 bishop. So, we should castle with the idea B6 and BB7 and try to free. Or capture the C4 pawn and D5 at right time. But unethical, correct, incorrect. A tempo down in a given position is a tempo down. Okay. Finally, managed to double up. So, white is preparing for a battery. Necessary. If pawn into pawn, then knight into e4 will be very strong for white. So, knight into queen into hanging pawns. The drawback with the hanging pawn, you need more pieces. They are weak. So, suppose we the all four minor pieces are there. And rook e8 is there. Black will open up the game with d4. We have seen the game of Tal Spassky versus Tal. We have seen the game Botvinnik Sokolovsky. There are so many examples. Now that there are not many minor pieces, the attacking prospects of black is very little. Now, how to play this? You break the duo, which Fischer did against Spassky. In the sixth match game, Spassky Fischer match, 72, he did this kind of thing. Break. Now, if you play pawn to c4, there is a permanent hole. The d4 and the black diagonal. And suppose you play c4, this is a miserable position. Right? No, no. Suppose, suppose you play c4, a miserable position. The black's diagonal is too powerful and there is 2-1 majority. There is 2-1 majority and the bishop on c8 is also doomed to passive. Bad. So, you have to take. But then, enter. Ladia. The rook enters the seventh. Double. So, this is bad. <laughs> it appears that uh, white has overlooked this man. Not really. Not really. Okay. No, no need to enter some tactical melee. For example, if you play uh, rook into rook 1 into c4, you can play some queen c8 or something. No. Threat. Rook B7. How to recover the piece now? The problem is how to recover the piece. Piece down. Back. Now it took rook. The point is queen D7 runs to rook into C4. Queen D7, rook 1 into C4. So, 
played Queen E7, but then now he cannot capture the piece. There is some two pawns, some compensation that is not enough. White will have a lot of play on the king side. Not enough. It should be over. Just clear the background. You want to operate with the rules. Some surprise will not come. Knight is free, rook is free. Just clear the background. Knight f5. And it is all over. So, knight f5. The defender, rook c6. You cannot take the rook, and the threat is rook into g6. Cannot take. Queen into rook, knight e7, check is winning. Rook into rook is unplayable, and on queen into rook, any rook, now queen b5, rook into g6, queen into c6, and he said, what? Yes. Now, only move, but then check. If he's down, no compensation. So, this is the drawback is, player, player should, his, the main drawback is, he got hanging pawns. You see, hanging pawns, not many minor pieces and the rooks are not centralized. So, perfect antidote. A similar uh, pawn th breakthrough came in that Spassky Fischer match. He destroyed the pawns were in center. So, Fischer destroyed the pawn doors. Next example. Gore versus London. This is also a very instructive game. So, four was from Czechoslovakia. But his end game was very good and uh, he was good in strategy, a good trainer. So, he settled in Russia because Russia, they said that we, we need such a strong player for development of our player. So, he settled there. Once floor was going in the lift, lift man said first floor. People then after some time, lift man said second floor. And of the lift, lift man said third floor. So four said, Oh my god, I come first, second, and third place. I also went. first floor, second floor, third floor. Now castle. Black, white is ready to strike now. The whole maneuvering, bishop b4 and all, this bishop should have been at least d6. Unnecessarily making three moves. Bishop is normally at d6. Of course, modern players do all that. This is terrible to do. Break. So, white has got two tempos in the position. The bishop has made two unnecessary moves. bb4, ba5 and this is a where three moves, he should have lost two moves for nothing. Now, back five. Already, he is in behind in tower. So, after the move, knight into, pawn into, queen into, white is already better, but not so easy. You have to execute the advantage. The bishop will come to d3, c3 and rook e1, plus minus. But, you, you want to open the game and losing two moves, too much. Take, take, bg5, threat is nd5, threat, now the initiative is very powerful, look at the knight, even this exchange of pawns does not solve black's problem, now simply rook d1 is coming, and after that I think the position is lost. After rook d1, I, if, if white is not good, black is not doing anything, lost. So, you must move the queen. Queen cannot come to e8 or e7, only move. Now, the strange position, strange thing is, even without queens, the position is terrible. White initiative is so powerful. Now, the simple threat is, 
97 and take the visa exchange up or 19 to c exchange up he is unable to wriggle out of the mess unable to pull him you cannot develop the bits up that is six is bad anyway so trying to move you see this game i saw a game in classical sicilian keras versus nikanas so in that without queens on the board also position was looking hopeless a similar situation you cannot develop easily right and there is no answer now you have to depend with d7 only move and now he cannot defend that he must lose exchange and no compensation so this 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 is a lesson a player should not think of exchange just develop logical moves and he wasted two tempo bb4 ba5 bc7 when normal now does the play bd6 and open up the center Lillian Talna has done this. Another, yet another instructive game. Normal. when modern days we find this a good move the immediate threat is yeah pawn up and with a crossing attack so black must immediately play knight e8 to meet f4 with f4 f4 is very strong so only move. now f4 is not dangerous f5 can hold the position this is not correct so white has attacking prospect black should play some bishop a6 knight a5 rook c8 because white weakness is the c4 pawn the c4 pawn you know this is a target this is the target you can come something prepared to come knight prepare to come bishop prepare to bring the rook even this of course normally white does not care for the pawn goes for in his right to do but d6 is very passive the initiative million thal rashid nasbet you know there are some players like that the deadly players at the first available opportunity they were grabbing the initiative e5 crossing the point is that after pawn into pawn into knight e5 is not possible going to a check on h7 there is no coordination of black pieces that is why d6 is bad now take take you cannot take knight e5 tactically now black is in a very passive position so let us see the initiative trying to curb the diagonal and pass now the point is after he plays uh, knight into knight into f6 he can play simply bishop g5 with the idea knight g3 and knight h5 or even bg5 with the idea queen c2 queen c2 is direct then there is problem He plays pawn. Not correct. Not correct. Then somebody has captured. Now White ignores and plays pawn. Black thought it was not possible because he will gain two pieces for the rook. 
But what about the resulting king side castle position? Pawn cover of the king. Rook into lost position. De Dhanadhan. De Dhanadhan. Check. Idea queen g4 and rook d7. Rd7. You can't play queen e7. After queen e7, queen g4 check and rook d7 will cross. So only move, check. There is nothing here. So you have to see that when there is an opportunity, you see this position as early in the opening stage itself. As early. This one careless move. Trust. Zavo, Lazmo. Catalan, a standard line of Catalan. The problem with the uh, main problem is development of queen side pieces in Catalan. Black need to dissolve the center, DC4, and try to get C5 and CD and develop, then is equal. But it is not so easy. This is close Catalan. Now pawn into pawn, knight e5 will regain the pawn. After pawn into c4, knight e5, you can't play pawn b5. So center. So he tries to play bb7 and c5. The position, white is better because black has a problem of queen side. And knight bd7 is not working because knight c6 with a great advantage. Knight of d7. Want to get rid of the Russian knight on e5. Welcome. Welcome to take it. You cannot play pawn f6 weakening the position. Cannot play. And after nd7, he is... Uh, he can play some bishop come back and queen a4. So he stops that queen a4 sortie. The break has come. It looks risky because pawn b4 will come with a tempo. But white has calculated perfectly. Laszlo has calculated perfectly. Pawn into. White to play. Now, white has second initiative. How should white continue? Please think and tell them. played the marvelous knight of four giving exchange winning after bishop into between that threat a tempo now f6 is unplayable there is a mate if you play f6 bishop check then knight check will lead to mate so this is only move only move now again there is a threat. Knight into g6 and queen g6 mate. So you have to play only. There is no answer. No, no defender. The queen a6 or b6. You have the intermediary rook uh, c6 and then knight into. On queen a6 or queen b6. You have the intermediary rook c6. And then take on g6. Okay. But then. Now, white has got already a fantastic position. The material factor is one pawn down for black and also a horrible position. 
Hiçbir laf seksi zannetmedi. Game is lost. Central pass plan. Two big subs. It's technically lost. Unfortunately, the rook has no good square. Now, a normal move development of the diet. This is a normal move. Now, suddenly you see rook a8 is not there, b8 is not there, rook c8 is not there, rook d8, bishop c7, and rook e8, pawn d4. Very strange position. Hopeless. Lost. The, the, the punishment for playing this line is that here, this is a very badly played, very bad move. Not good line to play. Like, very passive. Passive areas. Okay, I think it is uh, running out of time. So I have got how many games left? Let's let that. I have got a one, two, three, four, one, two, three games. Okay, I will not rush. I will show in the afternoon session, three o'clock today. Pranithi Creation. Good morning, sir. Pranam. Thank you. Oh, Tith, sir. Welcome. Okay, so I will deal with the other positions and some more interesting games in the afternoon session today at 3 p.m. So thank you very much, friends, being with me. And we'll meet again at 3. Take care and bye. We'll meet at 3. Okay. For next session. Next session.